co-showrunner Albert Kim. Another co-showrunner, Clifton Campbell. He's a cast newbie, he plays Malcolm Dreyfus, Jeremy Davies. Jeremy, and he was like, you gotta crash the panel, so I'm just here to see him. Uh, I don't, all right, awesome. <laughs> Amazing. All right, she plays soldier, scholar, and all-around badass, Jenny Mills. member Janina Gabankar. <laughs> and uh, the man of the hour, last year he joined us via email, and this time he's here in the flesh, Ichabod Crane, Tom Mike. because you guys paid a lot of money to be here, you should be asking a lot of questions, yes? Yeah. So, I'm gonna ask them a bunch, we'll warm them up, think about what you wanna say. I'm not gonna ask about hair, and I'm not gonna ask about clothes. So if you wanna know about that... Oh, I should leave. <laughs> you can ask yourself. All right, and then I'll get, let you know when you should get into line, and we'll get, go from there, all right? All right, so, so much change that we saw in that sizzle reel. So many awesome things. John Noble is back. DC for Ichabod and Jenny, it's a new archive, a new, new sets, new people. So, this is kind of a open to everybody, but the EPs can uh, take a head on this. Talk to me about how much we're going to see connection between the previous three seasons and season four. How much will Abby Mills be a presence in this season? And kind of how we're going to know that this is the Sleepy Hollow we've come to love while moving into the Sleepy Hollow that we have in season four. Uh, well, to start with, uh, I think everybody out here knows that the, uh, the spirit of Sleepy Hollow is something that's very important to the show, um, and it's, it's mythology, and uh, it's the reason you guys showed up for three seasons, which we obviously very much appreciate. Um, a lot of that moves forward. The spirit of that show is still fully intact. Um, and if you recall, at the end of last season, um, uh, George Washington uh, passed along a letter through Ezra Bills to uh, Ichabod Crane, and uh, there was a promise and in the, in the hope for a future uh, that he has carried forward into this iteration of the show. So we closed the door on one chapter of the show last year, and uh, it was tough. It was really tough for all of us, um, because it was a show and it was, it was a spirit that we all love. What was really important for us was to make sure that even though a lot of things would, would be changing this season, uh, new characters, a new partner, new villain, new setting, that we stayed true to what the spirit of the show was. So going forward, we went back and took a look at everything that we thought was really important, the horror, the humor, the history, all of that, and all of that stays the same going forward. So that's that's how we uh, viewed it. It was the whole idea of as one door closes, another opens, and that's, that's how we viewed it going forward. Uh, Headless Horseman. <laughs> Headless Horseman's back. It's gonna be the Headless Horseman. Yeah, I think that uh, everything that just got said is right on, and also, you know, a big part of uh, the end of the last season was the idea that we were going to be searching for uh, the next witness and who was going to be carrying on the mantle that um, that Abby carried for so long. And, and uh, I think that's a big part of the of the season, and, and it's really important in terms of character for uh, both uh, for Crane and for Jenny, and will become important for all our other characters. So, in a lot of ways, uh, we carry that sort of with us uh, as we sort of explore new ground. Awesome. Any cast members want to join in on that one? 